Time to get you up to speed on the stories you need to know as you start your Tuesday. A 14-year-old boy has been accused of breaking into a home and killing the man who lived there. Police say 30-year-old Diego Martinez was shot when he tried to stop the teen from stealing his stuff. We're told the boy later admitted to the crime. He's been booked on a felony murder charge and armed robbery. Cops have not released his name because of his age. A sad update to pass along regarding the search for a Phoenix man who's been missing for a few weeks. The Navajo County Sheriff's Office says the body of Keith Bailey has been discovered in Heber Overgard, not far from his vehicle in a wooded area. Bailey was last seen by his live-in girlfriend August 6th. At this point, investigators say there is no evidence of foul play. President Trump is back at the White House this morning after the G7 summit in France. That summit ended with a potential beginning. The president said he is open, and open to meeting with Iran's leader. Tensions with Iran have flared over Tehran's nuclear program and the shooting down of an unmanned U.S. drone. The president also sounded optimistic about reviving talks to end the ongoing trade war with China. Actress Lori Loughlin and her husband, fashion designer Massimo Giannale, are due back in court today. The couple, charged with paying half a million dollars to get their daughters into the University of Southern California, both pleaded not guilty earlier this year. They're just two of many wealthy celebrity parents involved in that bribery scandal. And Walter White, eat your heart out. What do you see here? Popsicles? Not quite. It's actually meth. A Border Patrol canine busted two people trying to sneak these drugs through the checkpoint in Blythe. Agents say they found more than nine pounds of meth disguised as ice pops inside a cooler. You're now up to speed. You can always get the latest news online at 12news.com or on the 12 News app.